one of the most annoying thing I have is how fast my hair is growing. Every week, at least once in every two weeks, I didn't have a haircut. That fast my hair is growing. That's an annoying thing because it's a waste of time because we don't have equipment system. By the way, for last 10 years, probably a little more than that, I go to the same place. When he have a free slot, he give me a call. Hey, come, you have a slot. I got that call, so I'm going for my this week haircut. To get a haircut, it's like uh, 10 15 minutes, but hard thing is waiting in the queue. So that's why, like, he knows that I don't like it. So that's why, like, he gave me a call when I can directly go in. I feel like sometimes weekends are moving faster than the normal days. Sometimes if we're very busy, the weekdays are moving very faster than the weekends, but we can just came and go. So most of my weekends, like few hours at least, I'm spending like that, cleaning my room and um, like once in every two weeks, we have a haircuts and so and so. So before I close the weekend, I usually get bunch of questions like from here and there, from undergraduates, software engineers, for different people, different questions. Since I couldn't host a Q&A session recently, I thought like, okay, I answer a few questions because outside is heavily raining. I don't know whether you can hear it. Um, okay, here's the first question. So what are the qualifications and interview question for the quality assurance intern? I never done a QA internship interview, but I assume basically they might ask your understanding about the QA practices and test case design and basic IQ, I'm not sure. My ambition is to be an UI UX engineer. I need a clear guidance for how to become a UI UX engineer and how to apply internship. There is no different way to apply internship other than the usual internship apply for UI UX engineer. Uh, what I can think of is having your portfolio, your own portfolio might be advantage to show your design skill because UI UX engineer I need certain design skills. So I think you are having your portfolio might be a little uh, help for you. So can you please explain what is the, what are the qualifications that data science undergraduate should have to be an intern of ML engineer, A engineer? This question itself little confusing because um, it says about the data science and then asking about the AI ML engineer. I would say basically get your software engineering degree and then you can think of uh, moving for data science and AI ML. And when you're getting internship, dealing with the data at least a little bit and doing uh, working with those tools, understanding those principles might be helpful. So what is the difference between full stack developer and a software engineer? Is the skills needed for these two roles are the same or different? This is a very useful question and also one of most confusion question. Okay, here's my take about it. There is nothing like this is the rule and this is the uh, principle behind this, but this is my take. 
anyone can become a software developer you just need to learn a language you just need to framework you just need to basic concept and you can become a software engineer software developer right but software engineer is different from the software developer in my book software developer is likewise someone who can code and someone can develop a software but software engineer mean he has an engineering principle he is graduated with a software engineering degree probably and he knows how these things works theories concepts and algorithms how stuff exactly work what are the best practices behind the principles behind these things and everything he is he learn and he knows it so that is what make engineer because then he has engineering degree and then but as a qualification then he become an engineer so difference is software developer may not know about those engineering principle behind the things and how it works and everything but engineer knows so every software developer is not an engineer but every engineer can become a software developer every software engineer can become a full stack developer here the full stack mean i explained this in one of my video Full stack mean it's not that you know end to end like UI, UX, yeah, yeah, test case, uh, test right, test case writing, QA, back end, DevOps. No, it is not that. You learn something, you master something. Probably you expert on the back end, but you can handle the uh, front end as well. And sometimes you are expert on the front end, but you can work with the back end as well. So that is in my book, full stack engine, full stack developer, and and software engineer. I think that's enough for the day. and i have bunch of other questions i'll take those questions whenever i have time so then i see you in a, some weekday videos stay safe